Welcome to the homework for lesson 15. This is module 6 of first grade. Get your name on here first. And uh, you might, if you practice the, the uh, standard method, the standard algorithm for adding two digit numbers, then uh, you're going to start to recognize what we're doing here. Uh, but this is an example right here in the corner that shows how we do it with quick tens. And that's what it says. That we're going to be solving with quick tens and ones drawings. It says line up your tens with your tens and your ones with your ones. I'm sure um, some of you have heard this before. Line up your tens with your tens and line up your ones with your ones. We're going to do this with, with drawings, with quick tens and ones. And it says write, your, uh, write the total below uh, below your drawing. So 39 plus 42, well, I'm going to need three tens and nine ones. So that's one, two, three. And my ones, I'm going to put a little bit over here to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I need four tens for the 42. One, two, three, four, and two ones. One, two. And I'm going to draw this line down here, and I'm going to write my totals for... Uh, how many ones and tens I have. But first thing I'm going to do is look to see if I can make a 10 out of the ones that I have. So I have nine, I need one more, and that's a 10. So how many tens do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens, and one one left for 81. 48 plus 32. How many tens do I need? I need one, two, three, four, and I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. And for 36, I need three tens, one, two, three, and six ones, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me see if I can make a 10 out of the ones that I have. And I can because this 8 only needs two of these here, so I'm going to loop those guys in for a 10. And now I just count all my tens. Here's my line. I'm going to write my digits down here. And I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tens, and 4 ones, 84. 31 plus 48. So how many tens do I need? 1, 2, 3, and 1, 1. For 48, I need 1, 2, 3, 4 tens, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ones. My total I'm going to write underneath this line. And I see I have 8 and 1. That just makes 9. I can't make any tens with the ones there, and I'm just going to count my tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With this method, I should mention this here now that I think of it, is with this method, you always want to count your ones first to see if you can make a 10. Because uh, what's going to happen is otherwise you're going to have to go back and fix how many tens you have. Because once if you count your tens first and it turns out you can make another 10, then you have to erase it and then change it and make it one more 10. So it just being in the habit of starting with the ones first, it just saves you from having to fix your tens, which you're going to have to do a lot of times. So here's 47 plus 34. I need four tens, one, two, three, four, and seven ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And my 34, I need one, two, three tens, and one, two, three, four ones. And here, I'll just give you an example here. If I count the tens here first, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven tens. And if I count my ones, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one more eleven. So there's eleven ones. And if I do that, I have seven hundred eleven. And I can't have seven hundred eleven for this because it's it's not even a hundred really because it's forty seven plus thirty four, and that eleven is. And this is just an example of a mistake that, that uh, a lot of first graders make with this in the beginning. Uh, you can't have that 11. You have to circle a 10. And now that I've circled that 10, I can see that I really only have one 1. But now I have another 10. And I don't have 7 10s anymore. 
I have 8 10, so I now have to fix this 7 and go back and change it to an 8 because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 8 10s now. So you see what I mean? If you start, if you keep starting with the 10s, you're going to end up having to fix that over and over again. And a lot of times you'll forget to add it back. You'll forget to change your 10s once you notice that mistake and you fix it. So it's just try to get in the habit of checking your ones first to see if you can make a 10 with them. 57 plus 39. So I need, here I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 ones. For 39, I need 1, 2, 3 tens and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 ones. Well, I only need one more one here to make a 10 with that 9. So there's a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 tens. And 6 ones left here. 96. Now we're looking at 58 plus 27. So 58, I need 5 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 8 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 27 is two tens and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, now uh, this eight above needs two more to be a ten, so let's just circle in those two there. And so there's a ten, and I've got five ones because it's those three and those two. That's five. And here are my tens. I've got five here. Two more is seven, and one more is eight. Fifty-nine plus twenty-five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twenty-five is two tens, and one, two, three, four, five ones. You might see this right away and say, like, oh, here's a five, and there's a five. And do it like that and say, well, there's a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tens, and 4 ones left, so 84. 48 and 42. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 42 is 1, 2, 3, 4 tens, and 1, 2 ones. Now, if I look at this, I'm like, oh, here's an 8, and then here's, there's an 8, and there's two more. So I know altogether this is going to make a 10. So once I count this as a 10, I don't have any 1s at all, so 0, 1. So that's, and the 10s are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. Now, you don't have to cross off your 10s as you count them like I'm doing. I'm just doing it because I have to show it somehow that I'm counting them. Uh, if you'd like to do it to keep track of which ones you've counted or which ones you haven't, that's fine. You can cross them out as you go or mark them or however you do it. Um, but you don't have to like mark cross them off the way I'm doing it. That's not like a, that's not something that you have to do. It's just something that I do to show that I'm how what I'm counting. So here we have 39 plus 53. 39 is three tens and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine ones. Please, please use five group rows when you're drawing your quick tens and your ones. Fifty-three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. It just makes so many things easier and it helps you avoid making mistakes. I can see that's a nine and I need one more. So that's uh, two ones. And my tens, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tens, ninety-two. Seventy-eight plus fourteen. This method usually is pretty popular right from the beginning because you're just drawing pictures of stuff and counting. Seventy-eight plus fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, that's a six group row. I want a five group row. Five, six, seven, eight, and fourteen is one, one, two, three, four. 
I can see because this is set up like a 10 frame with five group rows that it just needs two more. So I can loop those in and I can see I have two ones left and now I'll count my tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens for 92. Two 92s in a row. 57 plus 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the 57. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the 25 is two tens. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ones. And I'll write my totals underneath this line. And I see the two fives right here. Those will make... It almost looks like it's eating the two ones that are left there. Oh, but it's a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 82. 69, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, ones. 27 is 2, 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this 9 here just needs one more. To be a 10 and then I have four and two that's four that's two more so six ones and my tens I have one two three four five six seven eight nine tens for 96 I'm gonna go back and make sure I wrote down answers for everything it's good here oh I forget I left this one out here 90 and let's look up, go back to the first page. I didn't write down that 85. Oh, and I missed both of these. 79 and this 81. And that's all of them. Oh, and uh, check to make sure your name's on there too. If you didn't get it on there already.